I seem to have lost my connection there. Sorry, Lynn, you were, you were saying you were um, talking about... I, I was wondering about... Um, I know you've got marketing of the, of the course there, but whether we could have a discussion about marketing in general um, based on some data about what is resonating um, already and um, where we need to put our emphasis and think yeah. uh, creatively about some marketing activities. Yeah, so uh, it, it's it's a good question, Lynn. Um, and the, the short answer is I, I'm not entirely sure in terms of data-driven uh, analysis because one of the conscious decisions we've taken as a network was not to market um, uh, in any big way until we were assured of having exit awards. Uh, unlike, uh, have we any colleagues from North America here? Um, unlike our North American colleagues that enjoy marketing before the exit award uh, is in place. So, uh, but we are we close to that point now? Oh, yes. Um, we have sufficient courses now that will be launched as part of our first year of study, the minimum viable product on the 15th of March. Um, we have uh, 20, uh, 20 courses um, available that will lead to the, the two exit awards. So the piece of this puzzle has been to make sure that any learner engaging in an OERU course that wanted to get formal academic credit would have a pathway to doing that. Right, yeah. So, so that's enough. been the piece of the puzzle that we've been yes. putting together. Now, the result of that, or, or the drawback of that, of course, is we don't have extensive data on you know, the popularity of courses and, you know, you know, how many students are interested in different areas other mm. than um, sort of the prototype courses that we've run and, you know, we've got data on some of those numbers and the survey data that we've got from that. But it's, you know, these are related discussions to the marketing because we, uh, you know, we've also got to think about, you know, how, how we reach the potential s uh, learner markets, right? Mm. Um, mm. Because OERU is serving a discrete market. Um, our intention is, I mean, we, we're not serving the traditional markets that are, uh, you know, coming to our institutions anyway. So it's really about, you know, how, how do we reach out to the learners, A, who can't afford uh, tertiary study who aren't coming to our institutions? Mm -hmm. and but I also, sorry, I also think there's a marketing opportunity with your discussion about the open boundaries and the incorporation into other course oh. offerings. Absolutely, Lynn, and I, and I think the, the, the point of difference from a marketing point of view there is the, the ability for regional institutions to market an international intercultural learning experience. Mm, mm, I mean, I think mm, there's absolutely. huge potential there. So, um, yes, um, we will definitely include those uh, discussions around the broader marketing issues. Yeah, good point. Thank you. Wayne, I, um, I, I see that you've got accreditation under the summary from the partners meeting and I think that one of the sticking points will for Curtin will be the whole issue of, uh, you know, how do we know how much that is worth equivalent and the micro-credentialing and all of that. So is that the sort of thing that was discussed at the partners meeting that you might cover off on, I guess, again, it's the tips and tricks to making that yeah. smooth for our interest. Yeah. Uh, we'll certainly uh, cover off the decisions. Um, I and mean, the advantage that we've got is the sort of the, the two institutions that have got exit awards have actually had to grapple with this challenge in, in, right, very, yeah. in, in a very real way. And mm. uh, we will be able to share how um, these institutions and the others that are contributing uh, to these exit awards are implementing them within their own organisations. Okay, fantastic. So yeah. we, we will certainly be able to cover that, yeah, absolutely. Great. And, um, and to be honest, that's one of the key benefits of this network is, you know, mm. the fact that we are actually trying to do this stuff um, because this is the kind of information you can't figure out by doing it on your own. Mm. You've actually mm. kind of got to do it together um, mm. to figure out how, it, you know, it works. And one of the key principles of the OERU, as you, will, uh, as you know, um, Catherine, is that this uh, collaboration has been designed to function and operate within the existing institutional policy. Mm. So that you know, mm. our, the partner institutions that are doing this haven't had to make any uh, policy changes in order to implement this. So, um, and then, and then that's, that's good information to know. And of course, yeah. we're, we're happy to share that, yeah. Okay, good. 
Uh, any other thoughts, contributions? Uh, Adrian here. Can oh, good day, me? Adrian. How are you doing? Not too bad. Yourself? Very, very good. I've, I've allocated you a presentation. Excellent. Yes, I noticed that. Uh, that's not a problem at all. Um, Fantastic. Yes, sorry, I was. I got in at about quarter past because I had a meeting across campus that ran a little late. Um, the the one thing for the agenda that I was thinking about, we did speak at one of the recent OERU meetings about the um, the equivalent of some manner of review based on um, principles for online learning yeah. that could sit with one of the work parties and I'm just at the process now where a colleague and I have just reviewed the one that we use for USQ and have uh, have updated that and you also pointed me at the one that is used for Athabasca um, mm -hmm. that, that has got those um, is it possible that we can discuss a potential way forward for essentially a review of the courses uh, absolutely Adrian and I think that's going to tie in nicely with the discussion around um, the restructuring and rationalization of the working groups because the, the meetings mm -hmm. have made some recommendations in that regard, one of which is a, um, the establish or, or bringing a number of these groups together in an academic advisory type of group and comprising a number of standing committees. Uh, one is the credit, standing committee for credit transfer. So we would we were looking at having an overall group that would have three standing committees. One would be uh, credit transfer, and course articulation, uh, the curriculum, uh, or, you know, so program design and or, or curriculum design, so to speak. And the third group would be the quality, the quality uh, standing committee. So there's definitely a good a good fit there, and um, you know, given the work that you've done there, we we can progress that discussion. Yeah. Yep, and I also think that it dovetails quite nicely into the discussion on accreditation. Absolutely, yeah. Yep. So I think there's, um, and um, the the other thing as well, I'd just like to um, sort of second what Luke was saying previously about knowing what sorts of content that the OERU is looking for at the moment, uh, because I'm having some very interesting discussions here around the rewrite of our research methods courses. And I've just spoken with the head of program there even last week, and I floated the idea about working with open data and also openly licensing the kinds of content that we are putting into that course. Now, um, I've got to do a follow-up meeting with him very soon, but he seemed very pleased with the idea of engaging in that sort of a manner. And so it would be interesting, especially for someone like myself who works across a whole range of programs and I am, I have touch points into the accreditation process here, that if I know that we are doing work, the OERU is looking for a particular type of work as well, it would help people like myself to, to really identify some, some uh, touch points between the two institutions. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm nodding my head, Adrian. Excellent suggestion. And um, you and I both know that a research methods course would be such a killer course for an OER. Well, well you'd, you'll, you'll be pleased to notice that one of the things that I touched on that, that um, the head of program was did pique his curiosity uh, was you and I have spoken about the, the amount of uh, data that the OERU, OERU actually has. Um, and, uh, and when I mentioned to him, well, these are commencing students who don't have a data set to work with. In terms of authentic assessment, um, would it be possible that we could get them tackling real-world authentic problems? And he was quite keen on the idea. So that that may take that may take um, flight. Yeah, it sounds it sounds very a huge potential. Uh, I also know that University of Wollongong also did quite a bit of development around uh, OER materials for research development course, but. Uh, it didn't follow through to uh, credit bearing, but it's actually a, a, a good core of resources that are available there. And of course, as, as you would imagine, there, there's quite a lot of open access materials available in this mm. in this domain. Mm. Uh, I mean, yes, I think definitely. it would be a, a very productive uh, you know, course to be working on, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd just like to talk, uh, just to follow on from what Adrian was talking about, quality review and um, 
whether we uh, have any, uh, maybe looking at focused or OER focused, say rubrics for the individual practitioner while they're developing the course that they can do their review over it. So it, 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 if there are unique components for OERU required, we have a sort of a unique rubric that allows them to run through the requirements for, for OERU. That, that, that might be a topic worth discussing as well. well yes. Absolutely, and, and how these meetings pan out are, uh, they're to a large extent directed by sort of the skill sets and interests of the folk that are... Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, and so, I mean, it seems to me we certainly have the critical mass of a, t of a bunch of folk that are interested in these quality aspects, so that would be... Oh, good. That would yeah. be ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. what, what we did here was um, create two uh, different types of rubrics. One, a technical rubric, so that there's a, a way to meet the technical requirements of, of the, the course output, and then also a, a, obviously one based around the pedagogy as well Yeah. for, for open content. But of course, there'll also be some uh, more specific requirements for OERU as well that could be added to a rubric or yeah. any other or, or, or specific exclusions. I mean, the, the obvious yes. one which yes. comes to mind is uh, yes. the typical quality standards that you would have around uh, tutorial support, which yes. kind of don't apply in our context. Yes, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, um, that would be a very valuable discussion. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, Luke, would it be possible yeah. to uh, to either put a, a link to those documents or to post them? Yeah, in one of absolutely. The because I'd be really keen to read those. They sound yeah, they no. extremely interesting. Yeah, not a problem. I'll um I'll um uh, the, yeah I'll put the links forward. Uh, well, at least to you, Adrian. I think I've got your email address, so I can at least forward them to you. But I can put them anywhere, uh, anywhere that uh, it's available <laughs> to put them. That'd be cool. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other uh, any other suggestions, uh, burning issues that we haven't covered? Uh, let me kind of explain the process that I follow now. Is I, uh, tomorrow morning, I'll start crafting a, a, a proposed agenda based on this discussion. I'll post a copy of this video recording, um, and, and then you'll be able to um, express an opinion as to whether my attempt to putting an agenda together is a fair, reasonable summary of, you know, kind of what we've been discussing. Um, of course, feedback, open feedback is always welcome. And the nature of these meetings is they are designed in such a way that um, there is, you know, that flexibility uh, to, you know, pick up the energy of the day. Um, and, you know, in terms of you know, where people are going. So that's kind of the proposed course of action that I'm working with. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really about juggling to see how we can fit this in within the time, time frames. But I'll give it my best shot and um, you'll have the opportunity to tear it down and make it better. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. <laughs> mm hmm so, colleagues, if there, if there are no uh, additional uh, points you'd like to make, I'd really like to thank you uh, for your time and contributions today and um, say good evening and, and good afternoon and we'll see you in Sydney. Okay, see you soon. Thanks, Thanks Wayne. Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Bye. Thanks, Wayne. Bye. See you later. See you next Bye. Thursday. Bye-bye. Yeah.